Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Good to see you. Today, we're gonna talk about core values, what they are, what they're not, why they're important, why you need to know what your individual core values are so that you can level up yourself in your life and have more impactful relationships to understand who you are and really why you do the things that you do. So let's get after it. Again, my name is Jared. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. And the purpose of this channel is to help men become the best version of themselves. And I know that sounds hocus pocus and you probably hear other influencers and other channels say it, but I really do try to take the approach with men and some women I do coach, but really try to take the approach from men and letting them know that they are fine the way they are, but they can do better. Everybody can do better in their life. Everybody can do better in their finances. Everybody can do better in their relationships, in their family life, in their health, in their fitness. We all have the ability to do better. Most of us are okay with the status quo. Most of us are okay with good enough. Problem is with good enough, you never know if it's good enough until you're tested. So the purpose of this channel is to help men, and again, women, understand that there's always room for improvement. I'm a effing disaster. I have been divorced. I'm a single dad. I've failed in businesses before. I have failed in relationships before, but I've always learned from them. And I've tried to always have a takeaway on, okay, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? And what going forward can I do to improve myself? And it wasn't until I found out what my core values were that I actually found out the why or what my operating system was. So your core values is actually your operating system. Your core values tend to drive successful people. Now I'm not saying if you don't know what your core values are that you're not successful, but what I'm saying is it makes more sense to know what your core values are, to know what your operating system is, to understand why you do the things you do so that you can become more successful or if you keep having a repeated pattern of setbacks, well then this is you dishonoring your core values and it's telling you something, your body's telling you something. So what is a good definition of core values? Well, to me, it's just that fundamental belief that guides our actions and our decisions and really our behaviors. It's that internal compass that we have and everybody's core values are different. What's important to me might not be important to somebody else. What's important to you might not be important to me. That's the individuality of the core values and we all have basically five core values. And it's in these five core values that you're gonna be able to back test this yourself and understand that all of the behavior that you do, all of the relationships that you have, good and bad, and your overall happiness is dictated by the acceptance of your core values and honoring your core values or not knowing what your core values are and having setbacks because you don't understand what they are. So your core values definitely matter because for me, they help keep me grounded. They help keep me fairly stable. Anybody who knows me in my relationships now, I'm very different now than I was five years ago, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was wildly sporadic. I was fairly emotional at times. I flew off the handle. Then I went into maybe bouts of, I wouldn't say depression, but I would just say bouts of just feeling down. Depression could probably be a good word. And as I grew, as I had more setbacks, as I had some more wins, as I learned who I was 
as I learned what the fuck core values were, then I started putting all these pieces together and realizing, okay, this is my operating system. When I dishonor my operating system, when I dishonor my core values, what I view as important to me, and I don't do those things, I feel a certain way, usually negative. I feel maybe more emotional. I might feel um, anger. I might have setbacks. But when I live authentically through my core values, through who I am, what makes me happy, what makes me fulfilled, I have joy, I have happiness, I have fulfillment. Is everything perfect? No, but I'm able to stay grounded. Like I said, if you know who I am now, I'm very baseline. I don't get overly emotional and I don't get overly depressed or down. I'm fairly level-headed. Yes, do I feel, feel anger? Of course. Do I feel joy? Of course. <clears throat> but because I'm grounded, because I understand who I am now, and it is a learning process, I'm able to honor my core values. I'm order, able to honor my operating system in such a way that I have a better, more impactful, joyous relationship with my children, with my girlfriend, with my business partners, with just general people that I know, with my coaching clients. I'm able to understand who I am so that I can better understand or better help who they are. And one of the biggest things I do, especially my coaching clients, and we're gonna get into this in a minute because I have a special offer for you guys, is we first figure out what their core values are because a lot of people don't know. They have an idea, but maybe they don't have a word for it. Or we put a word to it and they're like, no, that's not it. So we have a pen and paper test that we do one-on-one -on -one and we start working through this to determine what everybody's five basic core values are. If you also just look at this as a business, not just relationships, but you have to also understand all businesses are just a collective of people. Look at a company like Apple. Apple has, I don't know now, they're fairly in line with Steve Jobs' original idea. They might have detracted some, but Steve Jobs had implemented his core values in his company, which then everybody accepted and aligned themselves with his vision, his core ideas, his belief system, which made Apple literally one of the best phone companies in the world. Pixar, everything that Apple touched seemed to turn to gold. I guess Elon Musk would be another example of he has his core values input them into his companies that people then either agree with, i.e. they want to work for him, and they get behind his core values and his companies tend to flourish. Having strong core values in business, having strong core values in your individual, your personal goals will help everybody in your circle understand who you are and either get behind you or decide that is not for me, that is not a direction I wanna go and they're able to exit and you can wish them well. I've had relationships <clears throat> when I firmly understood what my core values were, I've had relationships where this partner wasn't aligned with my values. They weren't aligned with where I was going. And so we had to part ways where sometimes if you don't understand your core values, you try to work on something that can't be fixed because you're both not aligned with those core values. You're both not aligned with where you each want to be individually. And so, Part of creating win-win relationships, whether it's a business, whether it's in romantic relationships, whether it's in your family, is understanding your core values and honoring them. And then giving people the opportunity to know what your core values are and also giving them the idea, the opportunity to understand what their core values are and see if there's any synergy or any alignment to those core values so that you can both flourish. This is what win-win relationships look like. And I'm talking about win-win 
relationships in dating because we are looking for win-win relationships. We're not looking for win-lose. We're not trying to drag people onto our page. We want people to willingly and freely join us in our direction and our path and purpose. That's the point of Magnetic Men Club. That's the point of being a high value man, going places where that man is the leader of the relationship. Doesn't mean he's the dictator, it just means he's leading the relationship in a direction he feels it needs to go in order for you both to have win-win or have a win-win relationship. I want to give you two ways to figure out what your core values are. The first way is the harder way, and then the other way is the super easy way. But I'm gonna give you both anyway. So the very first thing you can do, that you can do this yourself, is I want you to reflect first on your life. Think about all the moments that you felt most fulfilled in your life, and ask yourself, what values at that point were present? Maybe it was honesty, maybe it was freedom, creativity. Then I want you to identify patterns because we all live in patterns. All of us have patterns to our lives. And it's in those recurring themes or in those recurring patterns, in those past achievements and those past failures, what values drove you forward or what values did you neglect that set you back? Then I want you to write them down. Get out a piece of paper, open up a Google Doc, list the, all the values that keep coming up in those patterns. Don't overthink, just write it all down and then you're gonna narrow it down. You're gonna choose five key patterns that keep or that resonate the most with you. Those are your core values. Now, the easy way. I want you to click the link below and I've created, or my partner Chase and Kim have created a quiz. It takes between eight and 15 minutes, depending on how fast you fill out the information. I want you to be honest on the questions asked, because if you're not honest on the basic questions, then the five core values that our computer will tell you won't be honest. So you have to be honest with the questions, but all you gotta do is click the link below. It's 100% free, I promise you, I am not gonna spam you. Fill out the information, answer the questions, and it's going to tell you your five core values, but it's also gonna explain in detail what those core values actually are. And if they resonate with you and you agree, bam, now you know your five core values. Now that you know your five core values, then you can start aligning yourself with those core values in the decisions that you make for your life going forward and ask yourself, do these decisions I'm going to make align with my core values or not. If they don't align with my core values, if I'm not a living authentically me, then I'm going to have setbacks. That's how this works. If you're in business and you take this, this test, and maybe you're the CEO, or the CFO, or the COO, or whatever. Maybe you're the chief cook and bottle washer in a company. Understanding what your core values are you can then implement them into your company so that any of the employees that you have, they feel more connected and more motivated because again, they're aligning themselves with the leader. If you don't know your core values are, how can a woman enter your life? Or if you're a woman watching this, a man entering your life, how would he know to align himself with you if you don't even know who you are, if you don't even know what values you have? Make sense? So if you're in a business and you don't have your core values, this is why I often do when we do business co coaching is create a mission statement, create a core value list for the business. It's the same thing we're doing now because you're a business of one. You are your own brand. I teach this all the time. So now 
your employees or your girlfriend or your wife or your children or your family members, they're more connected and motivated and aligned with you because now you have a direction. Now you have your core values and that you can make decisions based on what you're honoring those values. Your customers are going to trust you more because you're going to be able to stand behind that brand. So it becomes what we say a win-win for your employees, for your customers. If you take this into your personal life, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your kids, your family, your friends, your neighbors, it becomes win-win for everybody. And this is what we try to create. To sum all this up, core values, they're more than just words. They are your guiding principles. They help you make better decisions. They keep us true to who we are. And they can even transform dying companies or mismanaged workplaces. They can even transform businesses, completely transform them. It's the hard way you can do what I've described to come up with your core values, or you can go to the link below, fill out the information, answer the questions as honestly as possible, get your core values, and then start aligning yourself with those core values. If you found this video helpful, you guys know what to do. Do me a favor. Hit like, leave me a comment, let me know if this resonates with you. If you're looking for some more information, click the link below. Join our free Facebook group. We have tons of information in there. I'm here to help you guys get unstuck in whatever parts of your life you feel can be improved. Taking this core values quiz is probably the best and first thing I would tell anybody to do so that they can understand their own operating system. With that, my name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men's Club, and I will see you on the next video.